Why Rivka had a relief when Shem told her that she has two boys? Remember what I asked you a minute ago? Or an hour ago, I should say. What's worse, to know you have one son, Rav Ovadia, and the other one, Bernie Sanders, or to have two modern Orthodox boys? Meaning, they keep mitzvot, but they're nothing special. What's better? Which one of the two options you would choose? <laughs> one hand, you have a son that light the world with his Torah, everyone admire him, look how many books, how many alacho, wow, revolution. Then you have a son, Bernie Sanders, the communist trader. Every normal Jew cares him from morning to night. Hates Israel, loves Hamas. A self-hated Jew. That made a huge damage. He tried to convince Congress not to help Israel. To help Hamas, but not to help Israel. Traders from among us. Imagine if he was your son. Now you, might, you may say, I take the bad with the good. At least I focus on the good. Someone say, well, why don't you focus on the bad? You have one sign that saved the world and the other sign destroyed the world. Isn't it better to have two that do not damage the world at least? Yeah, but they don't help the world, barely. It's a very hard question. But with Rivka, the answer was given. When she found out there are two boys, one Sadiq, one Rasha, she had a relief. What does the Torah wants to teach us? Better to have two kids, one tzaddik, one rasha, than to have one kid that is half and half. Tiny quarter on his head, yamaka, jeans, sandals, holes in the jeans. Coming to Shachrit, Shachrit starts at seven, shows up seven forty. Why? Because he's a Kohen. Birkat <laughs> Kohanim in a minute. And the Shul noticed that he's not there because he needs to do Evarech Hashem. And he came, he did Birkat Kohanim, put the Tfilin, Shema Yisrael, Chatziya of the Tfilat Shmona Yisrael barely, and Alenu Leshabach is already on the train to Manhattan. Why? The last thing he cared about is davening. He just came to show his face. He's voting Democrats. He's pro-gay marriage. He's pro-abortion. He's pro-Palestinian. Do you know a religious Jew that, that, that vote for Democrats? How can it be? You vote Democrats? You know what it means Democrat today? Like merits. You know merits in Israel? They want to marry men with men. They're pro-abortion. They want to kill all babies that are not wanted. They are pro-Hamas. They are pro-closing all the yeshivot and all the synagogues and the mikvehs. Those are the Democrats of today. Some of them are Muslim Nazis. Shakira, whatever, all their names. Slowly, slowly, the, the Democrats from being Jews, communist Jews, they became Arabs. Pro-Islam. Terrible, dangerous people. Why would Jews vote for them? Because they have zero brain. Someone that has a brain will vote for someone that calls for his death, for the death of his state, for murdering millions of babies, for marrying men with men, for destroying everything valuable that the world had to offer. Don't get me wrong, not that the Republicans are a lot better. They're also wicked. It's a lot of corrupted politicians, it's business, gun control, uh, all kinds of things. Medicine, Medicare, lots of corruption, we know. Lots of corruption. But at least they are less wicked. They're not pro-abortion, they're not pro-Hamas. They're not pro-gay marriage, they're not pro-abomination. They have a little bit more values. So when you have... When you have someone that is 50% wicked or someone that is 90% wicked and you have to take one of them with you on a trip, who are you going to take? You have to settle for the 50%. Must take one of them. Why would you vote for someone that is double wicked, that hate Torah? At least the Republicans are not enemies of the religion. They believe in God. 
They respect religion. They don't want to destroy the religion. They never declare, help us to wipe out religion, to close synagogue, to close churches, to destroy anything that religion has to say. You don't see it. But the Democrats in Israel and here, wow. Bernie Sanders, if it was up to him, he would burn the yeshivot. He would burn Israel. What do you want more than that? So, Rivka had a relief. She found out she doesn't have a modern faker. Open orthodoxy. I would like to invite Pastor Kelly to my community in Boca Raton to give us a motivational speech from all the rabbis in the world that are holy and righteous and Talmidei Chachamim. None of them is worthy to come speak to your congregation to give words of encouragement. You need a Christian missionary Nazi to come. An admirer of Hitler that says we have to pray for his soul. An admirer of JC that wants to convert all Jews to Christianity. This is who you bring to stand next to the Torah. That shul had to be closed that minute. The congregation had to shut the door. We never step here ever again. 